Yo, what's Gucci? Everybody was good. I got to do this video real quick. We have some news. Um, so we're gonna get into the article too. But Dan Lin is in talks to take over as DC chief and oversee future film and TV projects. He has previously produced the It movies, the Lego movies. Well, yeah, he he did a bunch of Lego movies. Um, and he's gonna be producing this Netflix live action Avatar. To, last airbender series now if we go to his quick to see what this dude be working with you know see what homie be working with uh he produced a lego movie lego batman I i'm just naming off the stuff i know and that i've seen the lego movie one he helped produce godzilla versus kong i like that it chapter two wasn't huge fan of godzilla king of the monsters i liked it the lego movie i liked it lego ninjago didn't see it it won Liked it. Defto 2017 on Netflix. Fucking trash. Um, yeah, that's 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 not something you, you want your name to be attached to, but whatever. The Lego Batman movie, solid. The Lego movie. Gangster Squad. That movie was kind of yeah, iffy. He did he helped produce some of the Sherlock Holmes movies. He helped produce Terminator Salvation. Oh, gosh. And Torque. I did like Torque, so Torque is, I actually liked it. Alright, so let's get back to the article. These are some of the films he produced, you know, some of the things I know that he produced, but you guys can go to his IMDb, and it'll bring you straight here. Um, I mean, he's CEO and head wrangler of Rideback, the film and television company. So, let's get into this article and see what's up. Our homie. DC's Kevin Feige found? Hmm. Producer Dan Lin in talks to take control of the film, TV, for superhero arm. Has a new head of DC been found? I, I, I honestly thought they probably would have picked Greg Berlanti, but, you know, it's whatever. I just want good I just want good DC movies, as long as they're not, as long as Zack Snyder's not a part of it, though. You know what I'm saying? But I just want good DC movies, that's all. Dan Lin, the executive turned producer who count hits such as a live action Aladdin, the Lego movie, and it horror movies among his credit, is in talks to take the role of DC chief. Multiple sources tell The Hollywood Reporter the role would encompass overseeing not just film but television as well, with Lin reporting directly to Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav, according to sources. The proposed structure will bypass three separate division heads. Warner Brothers Pictures heads Michael DeLuca and Pam Abdi. HBO, H HBO, HBO, Max chief Casey Blois and Warner Brothers TV chair Channing Dungy and put control of DC in the hands of one person. So, yeah, one person, guys. So supposedly he's going to be is going to be in his hands and he'll report to Kevin Feige. He'll report to Kevin. I'm not fucked. <laughs> he's supposed to be the Kevin Feige of DC and he's going to report to David Zazav directly. So n nobody else but David. That's supposedly what's supposed to happen. Walter Mott, the current head of DC Films, will transition out of the role, according to sources. A Warner's insider says that no negotiations are taking place and no official offer has been made. Although other sources say the other parties are discussing salary, reporting structure, and future of Lynn's prolific production company, Rideback. If any deal does close, it would cap off one of the most intense executive searches in recent memory. One that faced scrutiny by rival Hollywood producers and the executives as well as DC fans. Zazav has said he was searching for Warner Brothers' own version of Kevin Feige, the famed Marvel executive who has steered the rival comic book company's movie slate and then later its TV portfolio, which is honestly trash. Them, them Marvel TV shows is trash, bro. Mid-TV. Transforming it into a multi-billion dollar pop culture juggernaut. Juggernaut. That is a nigh impossible ask, but it didn't stop executives' names from, from surfacing. Emma Watts proved to be an early contender. Emma Watts? Emma Watts, nigga, what? That name sounds familiar. Emma Watts. Hold up, y'all. Okay, she's gonna check that word to Paramount. Name sounded familiar. All right, shit. Whew, that's the bullet. Names such as Amy Pascal, Matt, oh gosh. Matt Tomac. Saw Sean Bailey and Greg Berlanti were rumored to be taking meetings or pushed by canny agency heads. I mean, Greg Berlanti is the obviously good choice out of all of these if you didn't pick this Dan dude. Um, 
kind of like I say, if Greg Berlanti was to run it, I would have been totally fine with it because you know he does know how to plan out a structure. You know, now as far as the little individual stuff that you see him do that he produced, that's you know that's uh, that's up to that's up to debate. But as far as his plan, his goal, what he wants to do in the long run, he has set up something in the long run, especially doing it through a TV format and then in movies would be so easy for him to do. But this guy right here is clearly top of the list, Lynn. Lynn's name appeared late in the game, but he has a champion in Warner's advisor, Alan Horn. The former Disney chair who ran Warner's as president and CEO in the outs. It was during the latter tenure that Lynn worked for Horn, starting as a junior exec and rise to senior VP production. He struck on his own as a producer in 2008, but not before shepherding movies such as The Departed and 10,000 BC. He also saw the infamous and aborted Just League feature that was to have been directed by George Miller. The 2007-8 to Writers Guild of America strike and tax credit complications were factors in this derailing. So yeah, guys, he was part of the Justice League Mortal production, which from concept, when we mind you, we only saw concept art. That shit looked fire. So if he's gonna be bringing that to DC, that's totally fine. It looked dope as fuck. Like they looked tight. They looked they looked amazing. They looked amazing. Lynn was a respected producer, known for his smarts and blah 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 blah. blah, blah. All right. Now. All I want to say is this, because it's not really much I got to say. Um, there's people who care, who, you know, there's people who have vendez- vendettas against certain people. Um, Walter Mata. Look, you guys, I can care less if Walter Mata leaves. I can care less if he stays. I can I can literally care less. I don't care. I just want some good ass motherfucking DC movies. That's all we need. Uh, good ass motherfucking movies. Right. Personally, if it feels up to me, you know. Personally, if it feels up to me. I would just want DC to make just good one-off movies like they've been doing with their animation um, like a while ago. But when we tried to do the cinematic universe, oh, we saw what happened. You know, we tried. they tried to be like Marvel, release a slate, and didn't promise on that slate. Now, the only thing I want them to copy from Marvel is the structure, like I said. I just want them to do the solos and team-ups. Just That's the only structure you should copy, you know, kind of like the comics your solo comic and then you eventually team up with other heroes and other issues and stuff once you build up over time now mind you the movies are not the comics you know the comics you get more time uh to just flesh out flesh out a story movies not really but you can still copy the same structure the concept you know like um for example there's a comic where wolverine get wolverine first shows up in a whole comic that's our first appearance to wolverine now, in the movies, you can do something like that, you know, makes sense to do that. Some characters get introduced through other characters and they get brought into these uh, in, into other stories and they end up branching off from, you know, teaming up in something else. Or could it be a totally solo outing like a Superman uh, action comics issue one where he starts off solo by himself and then he branches off into other stuff later, meets other heroes and all that. Like I say. You got to set up these solo outings. Get the Justice League, um, their movies. Um, March and Manhunter, you don't have to, you can do, you can literally do, you don't have to give him a movie. You can literally put him in a Superman movie. And I think if they're going to reboot Superman. You should do like, do it like Superman Man of Tomorrow, where uh, the animated film where they had Parasite as a villain and uh, March and Manhunter was helping Superman um, fight Parasite. But for March Man under that movie, he was trying to keep Clark from, you know, exposing too much of his identity and stuff, knowing that they're the last of two, the last of their species. And he wanted him to, you know, like hold back, don't show the world too much because we're the last of our species. We got to preserve ourselves and not put ourselves out there. And Clark was helping him like, you know, it, like he was trying to he was trying to help him embrace, um, you know, like in, in, embrace not hiding. Like, we got to put ourselves out there. We can't keep hiding and staying tucked away and, and just sh- uh, shelter ourselves 
and you know uh, avoid everyone else just because they're the last of our species like you know we got these abilities these powers and we can do something great with these by helping people so like i say march man you can introduce him in a superman movie and if you want to give him like a so solo spinoff you can but like i'm saying superman needs a solo wonder woman needs a solo batman needs a solo aquaman needs a solo flash needs a solo Green Lantern needs a solo. And then you can do a fucking team up movie, right? Oh, and get that nigga cyborg off the motherfucking team. Yes, y'all heard it here first. I don't want that nigga cyborg on the team. Uh Ray Fisher. Nah. Don't bring his ass back. Keep him keep him off the team, motherfucker. We don't Cyborg, if you're gonna bring back Cyborg, uh put him on the Titans. You know, give us a Titans movie where he joins that team. And then maybe later down the line, he joins the Justice League. But nah, put him on the Titans first, bro. Where he's a plot device for the Justice League and shit. Nah. And besides, he's not even part of the core league. You know, we, we should be getting the core league in these movies. Um, He's part of the New 52 League. But, you know, that New 52 League is like, they aight. They aight. But you guys, um, I'm down for it. I ain't got no issue with it. I just want some good ass movies, my nigga. Like, bro, we just got the Batman. It was a fucking fire. You know, like I said, and I, and I want artistic films, right? I don't want no cookie cutter Thor Love and Thunder bullshit. No fucking um, Guardians 2 shit. Not just because it's kind of like cookie cutter ass shit. Ant Man and a Wasp. Captain Marvel type of bullshit. I want like fucking art, my nigga. When I say art, I mean shit like Joker. Uh, the Batman, Christopher Nolan's uh Batman movies, Christopher Reeves Superman one and two, you know, hell even Watchmen, you know like, a V for Vendetta, very artistic films, Aquaman twenty eighteen, it looks visually like a comic going to the movies, colorful, bright, beautiful, all that. Sure, the plot's not maybe as good as something like a Batman movie but that's a great that's a solid comic book movie like a comic book adaptation of a of a uh of a character in aquaman and i want to see like art bruh art i know cookie cutter shit not no theme park right shit i want some motherfucking art all right now you guys um hope you enjoyed the video a little uh, discussion we had a little talk um, I'm gonna catch you guys later. Thank you all for watching. Go to that peace, love, positivity, all that jazz. Dan Lin. Hey man, if you're gonna be the new uh, Kevin Feige of DC, I don't even wanna call this dude that because that's. <laughs> but if you're gonna be the new Kevin Feige of DC, um, lead us to the promised land, bruh. Lead us to the promised land. And then that's not none of that uh, none of that nightmare timeline bullshit either. Keep that shit away. All right, y'all. Peace. Five times finally up.